Well, tonight, a former North Central High School student is on trial accused of stabbing another student inside the school. The opening arguments in the case started just a few hours ago. Our Rich Nye's been in the courtroom for all of the developments today. Joins us live now with a look at what's been said so far, Rich. Felicia and Anne Marie, this stabbing took place in a hallway at North Central High School right at the start of the day, and this was almost exactly two years ago now. And today inside this courtroom, the jury saw what we saw for the first time, and that is school surveillance video of the incident. And now you're going to see it. You'll see two senior students at that time run into the building down the hallway after apparently having a fist fight earlier outside the school. Wyatt Maxey, who was 18 years old at the time, is in the red tracksuit, chasing the other boy down with a knife. Maxey stabbed the boy in the heart and the brain. He suffered significant injuries. The victim was hospitalized for quite some time. He has recovered and is expected to testify in this trial. Neither side is disputing what happened in this incident, but the state has charged Maxi with attempted murder. School is a place to learn, but for the defendant, it's a place where he chased his victim down with a knife stabbing him multiple times and it was caught on school surveillance video. We are not going to ask you to believe that somehow why it was justified or that it was okay to stab this other young man. But what we are going to ask you to agree with us about is that why it had zero intention to kill Brandon. Maxie is charged with attempted murder, aggravated battery, and possession of a knife on school property. The trial is expected to last just one more day. And this afternoon, one of the first witnesses we heard from was a man who still teaches at North Central High School, and he was the first to try to intervene in this conflict. In fact, was knocked to the ground uh, during the conflict. He called it the worst day in his 25 years of teaching. You'll hear more of his testimony tonight at 6. All right, Rich, thank you so much for the update. We will check back in.